The Kentucky family is demanding answers today in the death of a frontline health care worker who was killed during a police raid two months ago today. Brianna Taylor's family is suing three Louisville police officers after the 26-year-old woman was shot and killed in her apartment. Now, officials say this incident back in March was tied to a drug investigation where police were searching for someone else. As our national correspondent Jerika Duncan reports, Taylor's mother claims gross negligence took her daughter's life. Brianna loved life and she loved to help people and she loved a family. She didn't deserve what they did to her. Tamika Palmer is Brianna Taylor's mother. The 26-year-old was an EMT working in emergency rooms at two hospitals and helping respond to the coronavirus outbreak. I was more concerned with her washing her hands than dying at home. But just after midnight on March 13th, police shot Taylor at least eight times, killing her in the apartment she shared with her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker. Officers knocked on the door several times and announced their presence as police who were there with a search warrant. The officers forced entry into the exterior door and were immediately met by gunfire. Louisville Metro Police say the officers were part of a narcotics investigation and opened fire after Walker shot first. They're now on administrative reassignment pending the results of an internal investigation. The lawsuit against the officers claims the suspect they were searching for was already in custody. Taylor's family alleges the officers wearing plain clothes did not identify themselves and that Walker, a registered gun owner, was shooting at men he believed were breaking in. Walker is now charged with first-degree assault and attempted murder of a police officer. They thought they were being burglarized. Does the Second Amendment not apply to African Americans? Attorney Ben Crump joined Breonna Taylor's case this week. He is also representing the family of Ahmaud Aubrey, who was shot dead in February while on a run in his Georgia neighborhood. This was a completely unnecessary and justifiable killing of an innocent woman. For CBS This Morning, Jerika Duncan. And your heart goes out to that family. They're looking for answers as to how their daughter was killed, and we hope they get them.